that this one is different, Marshall? Um, we, we, we must acknowledge uh, that uh, on a comparative basis uh, with uh, previous elections, uh, this particular election, there is much more uh, political space uh, to mobilize, to canvas, uh, but it takes more than a peaceful environment to uh, create a fair and free legitimate election. So there are still uh, issues uh, that need to be addressed. And the primary responsibility to address those issues is on the government. And those issues relate to matters in particular within the jurisdiction of the... And what are those measures that need to be done? For one, there is the issue around the voters' role. As you know, the voters' role has been unavailable to uh, political parties, to candidates, up until a week or so after nomination. What's when, wrong with the voters' role? Are you saying there are a lot of people on there who don't actually exist or what? We, we are saying you ought to have the voters' role in advance so that you can be properly nominated, so that you can audit it and check the anomalies well before the election is in fact called. But more importantly, we are further saying that uh, you have issues around the ballot uh, paper to be used in the election. There are huge trust issues in this country. We, we do not trust ZEC to in fact have the sole exclusive or peg responsibility. Zach, just about Zach. Zach is the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, which is supposed to be independent, but hardly ever acts independently. Right now we have the critical problem where in fact they agreed that we could observe the printing of, of the uh, ballot papers, but what happened in reality is that uh, they called us and left us behind the glass and simply pointed the printing is being done. Well, I'm going to put that to Paul Mungangana. Thank you, but perhaps I, by you as a 